Hi guys, so I wanted to give you a um, graduation look and this is it. I gave you three different lip options. All of this is drugstore products, but sadly the video um, turned out to be in poor quality. I'm so, so sorry, but I still wanted to upload it for you and hopefully, you know, you'll get the kind of idea of where I was going with it. But I did figure out why it was in low quality. So next video, not going to happen. Hey guys, so I am going to try and do a graduation look um, and we're going to try to use affordable products. I'm not going to say that everything is going to be affordable, but I'm going to try my best to do as much as I can in using affordable products. So the first thing I've already done, as you can see, this is Milk of Magnesia on my face. I'm using that as a primer. Um, it's one of the primers that I started off using and now I'm kind of going back to it. The second step that I'm going to do is add this Nivea um, Shade Balm. It's the Sensitive um, Post Shade Balm. Um, and I'm going to apply this and I'm going to use this as uh, my primer. The first one, the Milk of Magnesia, I'm using for mainly for oil control. Uh, this one I'm using so that my foundation um, sticks really well to my face. And don't worry, the smell goes away. Wash your hands. <laughs> And for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's the Matte and Poreless in the shade 338. It's Spicy Brown. My last name is Brown as well. Um, make sure you kind of let that um, Nivea Shade Cream uh, sit in just a tad bit. Before I start my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and kind of color correct um, or conceal. I'm not going to color correct. Um, using my, um, what you call this, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade, um, Fawn. Because, I mean, like I've probably told you in a, another tutorial, I don't quite like the, um, the orange concealer by, um, LA Girl. I just, I just don't. I feel like it makes my foundation really, really orange. So I'm just putting this all over where I have like the darkest spots, which is pretty much all over. But hey, <laughs> we can fix that. I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of blend all of that out. So there that is. Now I'm going to um, take my um, matte and poreless and pour it onto my metal pan. My personal preference when applying my foundation is to do it in sections. Um, so I take it onto my finger and just dot it all over one side first. And I take my favorite brush, my favorite, favorite brush. Y'all seen me using this brush for like literally months. You can find me a cheaper brush that is like just amazing as this airbrush foundation brush. Let me know down in the comments. But this brush like stays so soft and it just press, put, presses the foundation or pushes the foundation into my skin so pretty so and so average like I just can't help but use it and I will say that this foundation is a good medium medium coverage buildable foundation
I do love it. This is like my, it, it is my go-to foundation for as a um, drugstore. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the shade medium beige. You can go lighter if you're about my color, but I'm going to try to make it just a tad bit subtle. You may look at it and be like, okay, well that doesn't really look subtle, but once you blend it all out, it is. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend it all out. I'm going to take my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. Once you've had this for a while, it starts to dry. Um, it starts to dry out pretty fast, so you have to move. Uh, you have to do um, do the blending in sections. I like with mine. I do. To blend out my cheek contour, I'm taking like the beaut butt end of the beauty blender and I'm really on my my bone itself because I want my cheekbones to look really really high I don't take it down here into my um my actual hollow just my personal you know liking of you know what it looks like that's why I take mine a little bit higher up I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of use whatever is on the beauty blender and put it around my uh, jawbone area. And I'm going to also kind of take uh, a little bit up above my cupid's bow because I have like a little pimple right up there. And I want my uh, the pimple to be concealed and at the same time I want my cupid's bow to be kind of lifted. Or be more pronounced. going to take a little bit around my eyebrow area 
and I'm going to take a um, Dillium Tubes brush. This is the 775 brush. It's a duo concealer brush. And I'm going to use that to blend out that um, concealer. And I'm going to go back with my Beauty Blender and kind of blend at those edges of that, um, the, that dark concealer and the light concealer. Like so. I'm going to go back over it with my finger a little bit. So I want to try to do like something a little bit different. I'm going to kind of widen, widen this out. So to go ahead and set my highlighted areas, I'm going to use the, I keep saying go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ben Eye Banana Powder. And because I don't know where you're at in the, in the world, but I'm here in Louisiana and um, if it was an outdoors kind of, um, graduation you want that foundation and your concealer to stay put so we're gonna bake our concealer to make sure that it stays put and make sure that you really press that powder into your your skin Cut that contour. I just love my paint pot. So I'm not getting away from using my paint pot. This is one thing that I will continue to splurge on. This is the Laying Low Paint Pot by MAC. So the palette that I'm going to use is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and this is the Warm Neutrals. I'm going to take this shade right here to start off. I'm going to use that shade as a transition shade. This is the first time I'm using it. And as you can tell, that shade is definitely very pigmented. Okay, so before I was rudely interrupted, the next thing I'm going to do is take this uh, really reddish uh, brick color over here and I'm going to take it onto a brush similar to the... Um, 217 brush, but this one is by Dillium Tools. I'm going to really push this color into uh, my crease area. This look has really started to look like another look that I've already done. I think it was very recent, but hey, this is the low end one, okay? Um, like I said, I'm pushing this right into my crease area.
And really make sure that you blend that out as much as possible. The next thing I'm going to do is, on a flat brush, I'm going to take this uh, champagne -y color. It looks just like um, Anastasia's pink champagne. And I'm going to place that onto a flat brush. Really packing it on there. I'm going to wet the brush. And I'm going to place that onto my mobile lid. You can use your finger if you want to. But I'm going to use this um, flat brush. Make sure you go all the way up to your socket. I'm going to go back with my 217 dupe and blend it at the edges so that you can't see where that color stopped at. Like that. Now I'm going to take the NYX Crystal Liner and um, this is Dramatic Sparkle or Crystal Hip or something. And I'm just kind of place this all over my lid to just give like a little shimmer to it. And then I'm going to pat on top of it to kind of help it to dry a little bit faster. In my inner tear duct, I am going to add this second shade right here. Like that. Then I'm going to take a black liner. Black is black. And I'm going to blend that out because I overlined it a little bit. Then I'm going to go back with that dark red color. This one right here and this one together, mixing those together and I'm going to blend out that black. So I'm going to take this uh, Black Radiance Powder in the shade Warm Hazelnut. I'm going to use that to warm up my face a little bit. Then I'm going to take CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze and I'm going to use that to contour. To set my face, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I don't know what this shade is, but it's one like the second to last darkest shade. I'm going to take my beauty blender, it's still kind of damp, and I'm going to just go all over my face with that. I 
All right, all right, all right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is ooh, nose itch. I'm gonna take this NYX blush in Silky Rose. I'm going to take that baby on a Real Techniques um, powder brush. And I think I got a whole lot. Just want a wash of color. Like so. And the next thing I'm going to do is also take another NYX product and I had the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and it looks like this. The shade that I'm going to take is going to be, I think, this middle shade right here. I may use some other shades. Just going to have to figure this out. Yep. It's going to be that shape. <laughs> yes. In person, this looks absolutely amazing. I know I'm like all glossed up. I don't know. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And then maybe take a little bit of the way. I don't think it is. But anywho, that shade is so freaking pretty. Yes. No glow. Glow. No glow. Glow. Okay. So. So I'm going to take my Adelium Tools brush, one like the 217 brush, and I think I am going to take a little bit of this first shade right here, dab that onto my nose, and those two areas. Right there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this color and that color. Don't ask me why. I don't know. And put that right up above my cupid's bow. Like that. A little bit on my chin. Like that. So I'm going to do some lip swatches basically. I have the um I have three shades from the full throttle line. And I'm gonna start by swatching the lighter shade. This color is called Kiss the Dust. I think these shades were like six dollars and it says it's supposed to be waterproof. Now I'll tell you this, absolutely this is the freaking This is a perfect freaking nude. Oh my god. I love this shade. This is what I'm going to put back on. This is so freaking bomb. I love this. I love this. Yes. Oh my god. I don't even want to take it off. 
so I took that off and now I am going to try on the next shade which is a a whiny type shade it's called locked uh, locked like I locked the door I know I'm country I'm sorry I'm not a fan of the actual shape of the lipstick. I'm really, really not. These go on like a satin, I believe, and they dry down to a matte. And honestly, they feel absolutely amazing. For real, for real, for real, for real. It's like really, 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 really lightweight. It feels so good. So honest. So honest. Okay, option number three is called Nightcrawler. And it is a vampy, vampy shade. Uh, I don't even know to I don't even what you call that pencil that dark pencil from Mac Night Moth I can definitely say you probably can pair this with Night Moth I'm not super super impressed with this shape because when this dries down I'm going to have to like touch it up in little spots let me see if I can get up close for you guys. See like right here and right there. I've been over those like I rimmed it, went back over it again and it's still kind of kind of blotchy. Um so mm, it's all right but whatever so if you want um to go super super bold you're the type of girl that really likes a super super dark lip then this is your lippy it's a really pretty shade just you're just gonna have to touch it up i mean i would still i would still buy it again you know because it's fixable but i am just being honest with you guys it's it's a little it's a little blotchy it's not going on as smooth as the other two so that's that one and that one is called nightcrawler yeah nightcrawler so that would probably definitely go good with max night moth or nyx's i think it's called prune i think it'll go good with that as well so here's that one okay so i put back on the shade Kiss the dust, and I'm adding some of the NYX Plus, excuse me, Plus Plush Gel Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude Beach. And I'm adding it to the center of my lips to make them kind of look full. And I'm going to add a gloss on top of that. And I just got this new Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss. And this is in the shade Madison. And this is a totally different color from what I have on. I think. Yeah, it is. Oh well. I still like it. Really gorgeous shade. Still love the look. Still love the look. Again, this is Madison Avenue by Gerard Cosmetics. Yeah.